What's up guys, Stefan here from projectlifemastery.com and welcome to my November 2018 monthly goals report where every single month I give you guys a detailed update on exactly where I'm at with the goals that I set for myself at the beginning of the year. Now there's now less than 30 days remaining in 2018 and I don't know about you guys but right now I'm super focused, I'm super productive and I'm doing the best that I possibly can to make sure that I close off 2018 in the strongest way possible. Most of the goals I've already set uh, back in January I've already achieved, which is great, but there are still a few very important goals that I wanna make sure that I complete this year. Um, now that I'm back in Los Angeles and been able to get back into a great routine, November was a great month for me because I was really able to focus on my health and my body and really optimizing that. Um, some of the goals that I also set too, you know, I mentioned before in previous goals reports, um, I decided not to complete this year and to move forward to 2019. So there's some of that as well. But uh, what I got right now is my computer in front of me and I'm gonna go through each of my goals one by one with you guys, give you guys an update on each one. Uh, the ones that are still pending, I'll probably focus on a little bit more. The ones that I've already now achieved now in November, I'll share with you guys uh, a little bit about that as well. So um, if you're brand new to this, I'll just kind of give you guys a quick rundown how this works. I usually have a, a blog post that goes along with each video. So if you're watching this right now on YouTube, there's a link in the description of this video that has all the goals that I'm gonna mention and all the details of them that you guys can follow along with if you'd like or if you want more clarification or details on the goals that I've achieved or focused on. All of it's there for you guys transparently on my blog. If you're watching this on, or you're listening to this rather on a podcast, then just go over to projectlifemastery.com, my website, and you'll see the monthly goals reports uh, there that you can learn more about them as well. But I'm gonna go through each of the goals one by one, okay? Some of them I'm probably gonna go over pretty quick because you know I've achieved them back in January, February, and it just kinda gets a little bit tiresome to talk about the same things again and again. So I wanna more focus on the ones that are more relevant to me right now and share that with you guys. And one of the reasons why I do this every single month is Number one is it provides a tremendous amount of accountability for me. I've been doing this process for years on my YouTube channel and blog and I get incredible benefit from it because I found that if you're just uh, accountable to yourself and you set a goal and you say, I'm gonna make this commitment happen in my life, you could easily back out of that because you're not accountable to anyone else but you. So only you know about you backing out of your own goal. And the consequence of that is your own disappointment. You don't feel good about yourself. You know, you don't feel like you're living your life with integrity and honor and you're following through in your life and that negatively affects your self-esteem, of course. And so that's one consequence that oftentimes can motivate, motivate people to make sure that they follow through on their commitments and goals. But by making it public, by me doing this on YouTube, my podcast, my blog, I'm not only now accountable to myself, but I'm accountable to you. And I don't want to let you down. I want to make sure that I can be the best example possible. I want to make sure that I can inspire you. I can be a role model to you, to the kids that follow me, to, to everybody all over the world to demonstrate and show the power of goal setting and what you can really accomplish in your life when you set your mind to something, you, you commit, you go all in, uh, you commit to what I call mastery. So I'm not perfect by any means. I'm not, I don't have 100% uh, success rate with everything that I do. Um, but I have been through this process, been able to achieve 80 to 90% of my goals year after year after year. And that's what's allowed me to get to where I'm at today. And it's also what's going to allow me to get to where I want to go in the future. So I want to inspire you uh, to set goals for yourself. I know right now we're coming to an end of 2018. Uh, I'll do a goal setting workshop in 2019 as I typically do as well and publicly share my goals for 2019. I might be switching up the format a little bit as well. For example, right now I do this every month, but I might switch it to doing it every quarter. Um, and I might even simplify my goals too, because you know my goals have always increased year after year and I've got over 50 goals I'm gonna go through with you guys here. Um, but usually I set a lot more goals than that because I uh, these are the ones I just kind of publicly share, but I've got a ton more goals that are specific to my business or other aspects of life too. So. Um, it can be a little bit, uh, it can be a lot and uh, uh, next year I might simplify things a little bit or focus on a little bit less as well. We'll see. Um, anyways, uh, hope you guys are crushing it. Hope you guys are 
really narrowing in your focus right now for 2018 and finishing the year strong. And in December, I'm gonna do this process again, but what I typically do um, that I've done in the previous years is more of a, a celebration and review of the entire year. So at the end of December, what I like to do is I like to acknowledge myself and celebrate all of the incredible things that I accomplished this year, all the progress that I made, even the challenges and failures for what I've learned from that and what that's made of me because I'm incredibly grateful for those. I think those have just as much value, if not more, than the successes that you have in your life. So I'm gonna do a process of that and then also what were the challenges that I faced this year and what did I learn from it? And I want to share that with you guys and that'll be coming in December. So uh, keep your eyes out for that, but that's a very important process that can help prepare you for 2019 to really make sure that uh, you got the most out of this year, but you can also get the most out of 2019 as well. Okay, with that being said, let's just dive into it, guys. I'm gonna go through my goals right here um, that I've got listed on the blog. First one is my financial goal. Uh, the financial goal that I have for myself this year is that I'll easily make $3.5 million Canadian, so that's Canadian currency, in revenue while working less and positively impacting millions of people's lives by December 31st, 2018. Um, for the month of, I, so I achieved this goal back in October, which is great. So this is the most money I've ever made in a single year. And there was still November, now there's December left. So I'm definitely gonna be overachieving on this goal by a huge margin. Uh, but the amount of money that I made in sales and revenue in my business for November was $200,561.50. Uh, $200, Canadian currency. The total for this year is $3.7 million. Um, and December, I'm going to have a huge payday as well. So it's going to be well over $4 million, uh, which I'm excited about. It's great to obviously make more money and what that can provide for you. But as I always I always kind of emphasize this whenever I talk about anything related to, to income is the importance of the, the, the value that you add because that's really, the money that you make is only the result of the value that you're adding to other people's lives, to your products and services. And so that's what I'm most excited about is I know that the more that I give, the more value that I add, the more products and services or problems that I solve in other people's lives, the more that I get financially rewarded for it because your income is in direct proportion to your contribution to this world. And if you wanna make more money, contribute more. You know, the reason why I make this amount of money that I make is because I've impacted and contribute to millions of people's lives. Over 33 million views on my YouTube channel, uh, you know, millions more on my blog and podcast, and you know, tens of thousands of people have gone through my programs and products and benefited from it and bought Amazon products that I sell, my investments that I make that I'm adding value and contributing to these other businesses or companies and they're paying me a dividend in exchange for that. All of that is based on adding value and contributing more. And that's what I tend to focus on more because the money is just a byproduct of that. So if you focus more on adding value and contributing, you're gonna get rewarded financially for it. And when I first started doing that, I did not make any money whatsoever. I was just giving, 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 giving until you hit a tipping point where all of a sudden, you know, the money starts to flow in because now you provide that product or service and uh, you can monetize that. So I've got many different streams of income. It's all transparently there for you guys on the blog, uh, you know, from publishing books to my products and courses to affiliate marketing to coaching, consulting, events, physical products etc. Investments. Um, if you guys want to learn more about it, uh, I've got a free course that I'm sure most of you guys have checked out. Uh, it shares uh, the different ways that I make money online and how you guys can get started to build your business as well. If you want to learn more about that, go to www.projectlifemastery.com slash free course. Okay, forward slash free course. Okay, let's move on. Uh, I'll easily have at least $6 million Canadian in uh, investment assets. So that's cash, stocks, bonds, ETFs, real estate, cryptocurrency, etc. cetera. Um, th this goal was achieved back in July. So I haven't been tracking as much recently. This is over $6 million, which is great. But um, right now I've got, I haven't been focused on investing that much. To be honest with you guys, I've been so focused on other projects. And I moved to a, a brand new uh, brokerage account. So I get the dividends you know every month which is great from the investments that i have but i have not been actively trading or investing that much and i'd like to i need to have a weekend just to dive right back into it because the new brokerage account that i have is a little bit 
complicated compared to what I was doing before. So I want to learn it a little bit. But you know, right now I think there's some good opportunities in the market. So I want to take advantage of that and continue to grow this. But um, happy that I've achieved that goal, which is great. I've shared before with you guys on the blog and video my three and a half million stock investment portfolio. It just goes into all the different stocks and positions that I hold that uh, hopefully is some great benefit to you guys as well. Uh, okay, let's move on to my mission and business goals. So first is I have, I'll easily host 12 Life Mastery Accelerator monthly mentoring sessions, sharing my most cutting edge self-development strategies and help thousands of people transform their lives by December 31st. Um, I've done 11 of those so far this year. Uh, on track with that, I'm gonna achieve this goal. The last, excuse me, the last training that I did <clears throat> for November was 12 powerful strategies to learn anything fast. So, oh, excuse me. I've been really focused on learning and memory and I've shared this before. It's great to learn, it's great to consume more information which is what you guys are doing on YouTube and hopefully reading books and going to seminars and coaches and going through online courses and whatnot to improve yourself or your business. But you gotta understand that, you know, just learning more doesn't mean that you're gonna retain it, doesn't mean you're gonna apply it. And so I've focused tremendously on really learning how to learn efficiently, effectively, so that I can get the most out of that information and also improving my memory. So I wanna make sure I retain that information, of course, apply it as well. So. I did a, a pretty in-depth training on that that's inside the Life Mastery Accelerator at lifemasteryaccelerator.com. So if you guys wanna check that out, I think you guys will benefit tremendously for, uh, from that because anything that you guys going through on YouTube, course, a book, whatever it is, it will change based on when you learn how to learn properly. And that's very important. So benefit from that. Next, I'll easily host 12 online Business Mastery Accelerator sessions. Uh, this is sharing my most cutting edge online marketing strategies to help thousands of people grow their online businesses. I've done 11 of those so far on track with this. The most recent training that I did was on how to hire and build a team of A players. Um, and that was a great training too, especially for those of you that have a business right now and you wanna scale it, you wanna grow it, you wanna remove yourself from a lot of the operations of your business. I've been able to build a great team of around 15 people or so that behind the scenes work for my company, Project Life Mastery, and um, it's what allows me to do what I do. It's what allowed me to scale up to a multi-million dollar business, to you know hit this year over $4 million in revenue, and it's what's gonna allow me to continue to grow. Um, and it creates more freedom and impact and all these great benefits from as well. So um, I recently just hired two new people on my team, two new marketers, and I shared a lot of the process and behind the scenes of what I did to hire those people. And I've put a lot of focus in hiring and learning that because that was actually the weakest point that was holding me back from growing my business from six figures to seven figures a year. And so I had, to, I had a lot of fears, I had a lot of limiting beliefs around that, things that I had to shift in my mindset. Um, so if you're in that position like I was, then I think you could benefit from that training. That's at onlinebusinessmasteryaccelerator.com. Next up, I'll easily host at least two online business mastery mastermind events. Love the process and personally help people build and grow their online business. So this goal, um, I have actually an event coming up this weekend that I'm preparing for right now. I'm not doing much this week besides focusing on that so that I can really serve the participants from this event. It's here in Los Angeles. Um, right now, 2019 is almost sold out. I'm ho hosting two events in 2019 and they're almost sold out. Uh, one in July, one in December. I think there's only two spots left in July. Um, and uh, I think there's, uh, I'm not sure how many left in December, but really excited about that, um, especially because there's such a big demand uh, for that, which is great. Uh, but so far this year, uh, this goal will not be achieved. Only one event will have been, have been accomplished. So this goal is kind of like half, half completed. I'll easily host a Life Mastery Transformation Seminar. Love the process. So this was a goal that was moved to 2019. I'm not gonna speak too much about that. I'll easily create a new self-development or online business course. Again, this one, as I mentioned in the past, was moved to 2019 as well. I'll easily hire two new A players to join the Project Life Mastery team and help grow Project Life Mastery by December 31st. This goal was achieved in November. Uh, so we hired two new marketers on our team. 
We're actually still looking for one more, uh, one more person for our team, which is a social media marketer. So someone that has great experience with Instagram and Facebook and, and, and help, helping to build the Project Life Mastery community. Um, somebody that has great design skills for Instagram and even some basic video editing skills as well. And someone that can write captions and has you know, some decent copywriting skills too. Um, so this is a position that's open right now. If you go over to the blog, there's a link, uh, like in this goals report blog post, there's a link that you can click on to apply for that position. If you feel that you're a good fit for it, or you might know someone that might be a great fit, uh, you can share that with them as well. We actually uh, are given a $250 referral fee that if you refer someone to us, we end up hiring that person, then we'll give you $250 uh, for the referral that you provided for us. Um, so that's a position. We've got a number of candidates, but unfortunately none of them from our perception and our process, we feel are A players and the right fit for uh, us to be able to um, hire someone and bring them onto the team to help us with this aspect of the business. Cool. The next goal is I'll easily create a new physical product to launch and sell on Amazon. So this one also was moved to 2019 that I've talked about before. I'll easily create and launch the new stephanjames.com, also moved to 2019. I'll easily publish 150 plus videos on the Project Life Master YouTube channel. So for the month of November, I published 12 new videos. This goal is now achieved as of the month of November. Over 151 videos have now been published, which is great. Um, on average, that's over three videos per week. And we're still gonna publish more, of course, for December and continue to add value to you guys the best way that I can. I've got some great content coming up soon for you guys that uh, I think will really benefit you guys with all aspects of your life. So really excited about that. Uh, by the way, if you're already, if, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you are and make sure that if you're already subscribed that you turn on notifications because I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but the last five or 10 videos or so, we've been doing a lot of giveaways. We've been giving away Amazon gift cards um, to those that on a first come, first serve basis show up when the video is released. And the only way you're gonna show up to get the gift card and get the prize and the, and, and, um, the giveaway is by having your notifications on. But not only that, but all of the content that I create, I create it to serve you and impact you and I think you can benefit from it tremendously. So. I wanna make sure that I put a lot of time and energy and money into my content and I want you guys to consume it of course and benefit from it and, and for you guys to, to take that information and apply it to your life and get great results. That's what I do what I do and I wanna reach as many of you as I possibly can. So make sure you're subscribed and notifications are on if there aren't already. You can turn on notifications by the way if you're watching this on YouTube. Right below, there's a, the button for subscribe, but there's also a little bell, and that bell, you click on that, and you can set your notification settings. Okay, next goal is I'll easily publish 200 blogs on projectlifemastery.com. Uh, we're at 184 blog posts so far this year, and we're right on track. We published 15 in November, and we're gonna close off and accomplish this goal by the end of the year. So. If you go to projectlifemaster.com slash blog, then you can check out all the additional content that I'm publishing there as well. Okay, I'll easily have at least 600,000 YouTube subscribers on the Project Life Master YouTube channel. That goal was achieved in October, uh, which is great. I'll easily reach at least 14 million views uh, on the Project Life Master YouTube channel. And for the month of November, actually it was down than the usual, it was 930, 936,000 views um, compared to over a million views that we typically get. You know, it, it's always up and down uh, with, you know, with analytics and whatnot. So I don't tend to focus too much on that in the short term as long as the trend is always upwards long term, that's the most important thing. And then of course, focusing on what I can control which is just doing the best that I can to add value and create quality content. You focus on that guys, everything kind of takes care of itself, at least for me what I find. I'll easily reach at least 2 million unique visitors on the projectlifemastery.com uh, website. Uh, for the month of November, I was 118,000 unique sessions. Uh, that's 1.2 million unique visitors total. Uh, so behind on this goal overall for the year, and by the way, also for the, the last goal I didn't mention, 
the total views, um, I think is there over 11 million views for 2018, which is a lot, uh, but it is still short than the 14 million. So um, likely not gonna achieve that goal this year also. I'll easily reach at least 1 million podcast listeners per month on the Project Life Mastery podcast. Uh, total amount was 73,400 uh, 73, listens. Uh, so that's less than what I need to accomplish in over 660, sorry, 667,000 listens total. So this one is also behind uh, and not gonna achieve this goal for this year, most likely. Never say never because you know, it's still December, and who knows what could happen. But on, on the trend so far, it looks like it's gonna come up short. And by the way, guys, you know, one thing, you know, we'll talk, I talk about, of course, when I do my December year in review video and really reflect on the year, I'm not disappointed. I'm not like upset because I didn't get, you know, a million listens and I only got 800,000 listens, right? I mean, you got to celebrate and acknowledge the progress. And I think a lot of people are so hard on themselves and they beat themselves up because they didn't achieve this goal or that goal, but they're not focusing on what they did do and the progress that they did make. And I'm incredibly grateful for the progress that I make in my business. And some things I always talk about, you gotta have goals that are result oriented and goals that are process oriented. And the results you don't ha always have control over, but you have control over the process. And the process, you focus on that, you do that to the best of your ability, and that will yield whatever results show up. So for me, I look at what I did do and accomplish, and I acknowledge myself for that. And if I came up short, if I didn't achieve what I expected, then that's something I can look at, I can learn from it, I can uh, you know, figure out what I can do differently or better so that I can achieve that goal next time in the future. Um, but I don't really get that upset about it, not unless it's necessary at times. If I'm not being consistent, if, not, if I'm not following through, then I can give myself that burst of pain to kick myself in the butt to get myself back on track, but I'm not beating myself up all the time. Um, that's only strategically done when, I, when, it, when it's necessary to give myself that pain to make sure that I get myself back on track. But in the case of this, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm taking action, I'm, I'm following through and whatnot. Of course, there's more things I could do better, but um, I'm, I'm also just focusing on, the as I'm focusing on both aspects of things. What I am doing well, being grateful, appreciative for that, celebrating it, and then also what can I improve? And I think that healthy balance is a key a key thing. Okay, let's move on to health and fitness goals. This is where I've been really locked in for the last month. So grateful now that I'm back in Los Angeles because as you guys know, I've been traveling the world a lot this year. I've been to now I think 15 countries this year. And as much as I love traveling, it's great. It does take a toll on your body and there are certain things that are just not optimal versus being, uh, being into that routine and being in an environment that you can really focus on your health. Um, so, you know, just kind of even flying and being on airplanes all the time is not good for you. There's a lot of radiation with that. Uh, some of the countries and places that you go to, you don't have access to healthy food as much as you would being locked in into a certain environment. Um, and for me now that I'm in Los Angeles, the most important thing for me was just to be as close as possible to Whole Foods so I can go there every day and get my organic salads and wheatgrass and ginger shots and turmeric shots and just really optimize my health and have the, the best diet possible. And then also being close to uh, you know, places like Bulletproof Labs so I can do biohacking to the human garage to you know, just last night we had a body worker come over and work on my body and Tatiana's body as well with massage and fascia, fascia release and a lot of really cool stuff, opening up the chakras, allowing more chi to flow through the body, more energy. Uh, so. Uh, been been really locked in and dialed in with that, which has been great. Uh, so the, the one goal that I, a few goals that I have here for my health and fitness is I'll easily get tested to better optimize my physical, physical, mental, and emotional well-being by getting the following tests done by December 31st. I've done a lot of tests so far this year, I think around 10 health tests. And I actually have a lot more that I'm gonna be doing because uh, I'm working with a, a naturopath who I'm pretty excited about <clears throat> and uh, we're doing like a lot of a lot of deep optimization on my health and energy. So, you know, I, I, I tend to, you know, as healthy as I am, 
Of course, there's times where my body has a lot of stress just because of my lifestyle. You know, I'm always go, go, go. Um, my adrenals can get worn out. A lot of the travel that I do and certain foods and bacteria and uh, inflammation that can you know, be created in my body. So I wanna make sure that I can continue to optimize my health and, and get more out of my body as I possibly can. And so the, the, the testing that I do has been very important for that. Um, there's a whole list of the t different tests that I got done so far this year on my blog that you guys can check out. Um, but so far, like in November, I just did a test called the, the Metatron. It's called the Metatron, uh, what's it called? Metatron Nutrisoft Body Screening Test. It basically measures everything in your body through, I think, electrical frequencies and can show you different parts of the body that have inflammation. So that uh, is pretty accurate. Um, it's pretty amazing. It's a technology from Russia and uh, was referred to me here. So I uh, did that recently and I've got a whole bunch of other tests that I've ordered online that I'm gonna be doing for December. You know, parasite test, mitochondria test, uh, you know, the Dutch test I'm gonna do again. I think I did that like last year, which is an advanced hormone test. Um, probably do like another uh, macronutrient test. Um, yeah, so the whole, there's a whole variety of different, different testing that I'm gonna get done uh, so far. So I've, I've achieved this goal now. I'm definitely ahead of schedule with it, but I'm continuing to, to learn more about my body and optimize it even further. Uh, next is I'll easily complete a 30-day sugar detox challenge. Now this is something that I kind of modified. Um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be cutting out sugar completely, because I actually kind of realize how hard that, that is. Um, so I'm having a very low sugar diet um, and I'm trying to, you know, not necessarily go 30 days, although that'd be great if I can do it, but I'm also being a little bit realistic with the holidays coming up and everything too, because I'm gonna be spending a lot of time with family during that time frame as well. But uh, right now for the last, I guess, few days or, or so, I started this and been dialing into my health and my eating patterns a lot more, which has been great. I'll easily complete a 30-day vegan challenge by December 31st. Um, I kind of started this a little bit, but I'm not, I'm honestly, I'm not, I'm not really focused on this right now. I don't eat that much meat and I've been cutting that off significantly more and more. Um, so I, I feel like I'm in a really good place right now with this. I don't need to necessarily cut it out for 30 days, you know, I can cut it off for a few days and just kind of have minimal amount. But that goal that I set at the beginning of the year has kind of changed because my, my direction and my focus has changed a lot too uh, so far this year since I set that goal. Okay, moving on to, okay, I'll easily continue to optimize my health and well-being every month by doing one of the following, basically biohacking my body. So this month or last month in November, I've been really dialed in with biohacking been going to one of my favorite places called Bulletproof Labs. Many of you guys probably know about Bulletproof, like Bulletproof Coffee, Dave Asprey. Um, Bulletproof Labs is like their biohacking gym here in Los Angeles, so I go there quite a bit. And um, I'm actually working out with them right now to do a video um, there to actually show a lot of the awesome biohacking stuff. So I'm just trying to finalize that with them right now around that. But since going uh, November, I've been going a few times a week. I've been doing cryotherapy. I've been doing red light therapy. I've been doing something called the squeeze, which basically it's like this body suit that you wear and it squeezes your body and it learns your body. So it learns aspects of your body and squeezes and it helps to bring the lymph up through the body and help to eliminate that uh, through the lymph nodes. Um, what else have I been doing? I've been doing the atmospheric cell trainer, which is basically a pod that you go into and it um, is a whole workout for your cells because your body goes through different levels of altitude. So your body will go from, you know, a thousand feet to 2000 feet back down to a thousand feet to 3000 feet. And it's creating a lot of, um, it's, it's your body has to adapt to the different altitudes going up and down, up and down, up and down your ears pop like crazy because of the different altitudes, but your, your cells are getting a workout and they're eliminating toxins a lot more too. And they're just working a lot more efficiently afterwards as well. So um, that's been great. And I've been doing a whole variety of other things as well. So I've definitely been, uh, I've, I've gotten more on track with this goal, but originally when I set this goal, I wanted to do this every month and I have not been able to do that. So this goal uh, is not gonna really officially have been achieved by the end of the year. 
I'll easily continue naturally detoxing mercury and lead from my body. I've achieved that goal back in June. Uh, I'll easily work at least five times per week to build more lean muscle mass, strength, and endurance. I've been on track with that uh, for the month of November. I'll easily complete the 100-day challenge. Uh, I achieved that back in January or back earlier this year. I'll easily complete a 30-day morning ritual challenge that was also achieved back in July. I'll complete a 30-day meditation challenge. So this goal uh, was just achieved in November. I started it in October and finished it in November. Uh, so I've been using the device called the Muse for this. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this or not, but I've shared it. I've shared it before, and I've also uh, it's on the resource page at ProjectLifeMastery.com. But it's basically a headband that you wear, and it tracks your your brain signals, and it syncs with an app. And so when you're meditating, it can actually show you how active your brain is, or when your brain is in a calm state. And it's really great for measuring your meditation. And of course, they've got guided meditations you can go through as well. Um, but that's been great for me. I, I, I experience great benefits from meditation, especially if you're an entrepreneur or an overachiever or a very active person like myself or just anybody. Because I think so many of us, we live so much in our head. We overthink things. We have all these thoughts and doubts and fears and worries and all these things that are totally irrational. And I believe it's incredibly important to learn how to calm your mind. And meditation is so necessary in today's world because we're overly stimulated with social media, with computers, with business, with so many things that, are, that our brains aren't really able to handle so much. And so the meditation helps to calm your mind and to get yourself in that calm, peaceful state to get rid of anxiety, to, to just eliminate these thoughts um, or at least not eliminate them. That's not the right word, but to observe them to not judge these thoughts, to let them pass and just kind of go by and, and separate yourself from them and realize those thoughts are not you. They're just thoughts that are coming and going and flowing in and out of you. So meditation has been tremendous for me and you can learn more about the muse on my blog. Okay, I'll easily read at least 20 books to continue to master every area of my life. I've read 18 books so far this year. Uh, I will achieve this goal in December. I got two more books to read. And uh, the whole list of the 18 books that I've read thus far are listed on the blog. Um, so you guys can check those out. Um, recent book that I just read is How Not to Die uh, by Michael McGregor, I think. Michael Greger. Um, it's more of a book that really emphasizes like plant-based diet. Uh, but it, it's really great because it goes through each of the most common diseases that people die from, especially in the United States, like heart disease and cancer and lung cancer and diabetes and infections. And each chapter is like how not to die from cancer, how not to die from lung disease, how not to die from heart disease, right? And it goes into like all the most important studies and research on how you can prevent that in your life by changing your diet and lifestyle. So really great book. If you haven't read it already, make sure you pick it up and learn more about your health. And it's actually a book that I'm probably going to buy as a gift this year for some family members like my mom and uh, you know family members that um, aren't as healthy as I feel they, sh they could be. And I want to make sure that they live a great life and as long as possible. And so I think that book could be a great resource to people in your life that um, you know might encounter one day and hopefully they don't. I pray that they don't, but you know the statistics are pretty insane of one in two people you know dying from heart disease and cancer and the uh, diabetes statistics and whatnot and you know it's just a great resource to have if you ever encounter challenges like that at some point in your future or you worry about that in some way. I'll easily listen to at least thirty blinks using my Blinkist app. I've done 34 this year, achieved it so far. If you don't know what that is, I'm not gonna explain much here. Just go over, the, go over to the blog. The links, the details, again, they're there. That's in the description of this blog post. You guys can find my monthly goals report blog post and you can see all the goals that I have here and all the details of it. And I listed all 34 of the Blinkist books that I've read or listened to so far this year. Okay, relationship goals. I'll easily continue my monthly relationship ritual with Tatiana to ensure that we're continuing to meet each other's needs while growing our love and passion to further enhance our relationship. And we did not do that for November. Got off track a bit there, no excuses, but that's something we're gonna get back on track with. 
Okay, I'll easily plan a romantic experience with Tatiana at least once a month to create magic moments together that we'll never forget. Um, we've been, you know, since we've been in uh, Los Angeles, we've been able to create more moments together. I think there's a lot more for us to do here than there was back in Panama, um, you know, or even parts of Colombia that we were, we were recently in. And so for us, you know, we've, uh, one of our favorite things that we've been doing, or one of our favorite restaurants uh, has been going to Tao. Uh, Tao is a very popular restaurant. It, um, the biggest one is in Las Vegas. It's actually the highest grossing restaurant in all of the United States. And I love the environment. The food is great as well, but it's kind of like a clubby, it's a kind of like a clubby restaurant. They have this huge Buddha statue right in the middle of it. And they have one in, uh, I think it's in Beverly Hills. So we went there, had a great dinner, and um, also, you know, been going to comedy shows and, and doing some, you know, fun romantic things too, which has been great. I'll easily connect with each member of my family at least once a month in person over the phone to continue to strength, strengthen our relationships. Uh, November, I did that, uh, connected with each member of my family. I'll easily connect with a new friend at least once a week in person over the phone to build new friendships and relationships. Um, this one, it was, not, it was not consistent for November. There was a, a few friends since being in LA that I've connected with, but, um, but yeah. I think I, I connected with three different friends <clears throat> for November. Okay, a few more goals, guys. Lifestyle and travel goals. A lot of these I've already achieved, so I'll go through pretty quick. Uh, I'll do new, a new fun activity every month. Been back on track with that, which has been great now that we're in Los Angeles. One of our favorite things to actually that we do is uh, we do a lot of dream building. In fact, just this last weekend, like our long-term plan is to move to Los Angeles, so we like to check out a lot of different areas and go to a lot of open houses to see what's available on the market for a house that we want to buy and move into in the next few years. And so we go to a lot of open houses on Sunday and check them out and it's fun. You know, you get to walk through these incredible homes that, that we're excited to, to live in one day and it motivates you, right? It motivates you and says, you know what? In a year, two, three years from now, that's going to be my life, my lifestyle, and the work that I'm putting in now is going to lead to that. So um, that's a fun activity if you guys don't already do it, is to do some dream building. Go to open houses, go to car dealerships, uh, put yourself in those environments where you get inspired by what could come into your life and it'll, it'll allow you to put in the work and focus to, to take massive action in your life. I'll easily live in Los Angeles for at least three months, on track with that, that will be achieved by the end of the year. I'll easily travel throughout Europe, did that already, um, achieved. I'll easily travel to Orlando for the Amazing Seller Summit, that was achieved. I'll easily attend the Traffic and Conversion Summit in San Diego, that was already achieved this year back in February. I'll easily travel to Whistler for an Entrepreneur Mastermind, that was achieved back in March. I'll easily travel to Mexico for an Entrepreneur Mastermind, that was also back in January. Went to Punta Mita in Mexico. So a lot of self-development I've done this year, a lot of events, a lot of masterminds, and a lot of travel. Spiritual and contribution goals, I'll easily listen to the Word of Promise, which is basically the Old Testament and New Testament audio Bible. And I'm behind on this goal. It's a lot more than I expected. I definitely was not realistic, I think, for myself to complete all of that. Uh, this year, but I've you know listened to, for example, the book of Genesis and Exodus and Leviticus and Numbers. Um, so I'm slowing down the pace on this um, uh, quite a lot, but I I'm gonna make I'm gonna continue making progress with this goal next year and even future years too. I'll easily raise and fund at least ten thousand dollars to build three plus houses with World Housing uh, by December thirty first. Uh, so so far I've raised. $3,600, that's money that not I have not contributed, it's money that I'm trying to raise through my platform and awareness, and then I match all those donations. So I'm way behind on this goal, um, and I'm gonna continue to give, contribute more, but the goal specifically, I want to encourage other people to contribute and donate, because I already donate a lot, my personal money every single year, but I, the purpose of this goal is I want to get you guys involved in making a difference and contributing no matter where you are right now in your life because that's one of the best ways to train your brain to access more abundance and a higher consciousness is by giving and contributing, contributing beyond yourself. 
even if you're broke, you don't have much money, giving a dollar, two dollars, you know, to a charity or to a homeless person or five dollars or ten or twenty dollars can have an incredible impact on your mindset and psychology. So that's why I try to encourage that and I like to try to use whatever influence that I have to bring awareness to, to different causes in the world that I'm passionate about and that other people can get involved in as well. I'll easily donate $20,000 plus to we.org uh, to build uh, two new schools in Ethiopia. So this has been overachieved, over $50,000 I've donated so far this year. And there's gonna be another 50,000 as well by the end of this year, which I'm really excited about. So I'm really putting a lot of focus more in the, the schools than the houses because of more the scale and the, the depth and the breadth of the impact that that can have. Um, and so I'm contributing a lot more there, putting a lot more focus there. Um, I'll easily go on a volunteer trip to donate my time to build houses or schools. Was not able to, able to do that this year. And I'll easily loan this $5,000 to Kiva. So Kiva, if you don't know, it's a platform you can loan money to people in other parts of the world and they pay you back. And I've loaned uh, $3,984 so far this year. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish off and achieve this goal by the end of uh, December. And that is it, 43 goals. 43 goals that I've got here for you guys that uh, I just went through. <laughs> So, of course, I could spend more time going through each one of them, but then it would be here all day. Uh, again, if you want to learn more about the different goals that I set and the progress of it, go to projectlifemastery.com and you can find the goals report there. But overall, guys, November was a great month. Um, like I said, guys, I love to travel. This year was a very challenging year. It was an incredible year in terms of growth and impact and, you know, achieved a lot of my goals, which I'm incredibly grateful for, but it was not an easy year by any means. Moving to a new country, very challenging. There's a lot involved in that. Uh, a lot of the logistics in my business and setting up new businesses and hiring and building my team and you know, still being consistent, putting out content and trying to make an impact and do everything that I can to serve. Um, all of that and of course focusing on all the other areas of my life, my relationship, my health, my body, my spiritual life, my friends, my family, my mindset, my emotion, all these different things I'm so grateful for and I, I'm continuing to do the best that I can for this. I'm not perfect by any means, but as you guys can tell through my goals, there's still goals I have not achieved or gonna be achieved next year. But like I said, guys, it's, it's that sense of progress that is really the most important thing. Um, most of the times, the goals that you set or when you start a business, it doesn't go how you expect because how you expect is just your speculation of this goal and how you think it's gonna go. You're doing the best you can to speculate and try to guess, okay, can I achieve this by this deadline? And it's not until you actually go through the process and then oftentimes you have all these different things that are thrown at you throughout that process that you have to adapt to, be flexible with, and you know your goals change. Um, but as long as you do the best that you can and you're making progress, you're moving forward, you're taking action, you're moving up, the, the whole trajectory of your life in each area should be up. It should never be going down, it should never be stagnant. It should be up, I don't care if it's up like this or if it's just up, like a slowly gradual up, right? But as long as it's up, then month after month, year after year, your life gets better. And the better your life gets, the more happy, the more fulfilled, the more you can give, the more you can enjoy your life. Um, and that's always the focus that I have and that's the message that I have for you guys. So listen, I wanna thank you guys so much for joining today. Hopefully you guys benefit from this and uh, enjoy me sharing this with you. And hopefully you guys are finish off, finishing off 2018 strong and you're getting ready for 2019. You know, I'm really excited for 2019 and what is gonna, you know, what's gonna be in store for me and also for Project Life Mastery. So um, I'm probably gonna do some, some things differently than I have in the past. I mentioned before doing the, the quarterly goals reports instead of monthly. Uh, I might try that for a year, you know? I've been doing this now every month for, for years, and so uh, I wouldn't mind trying something a little bit different, or at least on the YouTube channel and blog. Like I said, I, there's so much more behind the scenes that you guys don't see in my life in terms of my goals, because I have way more goals than I would share with you guys here, and there's way more that I'm doing that you guys aren't seeing as well, and achieving and accomplishing as well. Um, but I think the quarterly one I'm gonna try and I might try to simplify a little bit more of my goals and focus on less, but you know, whatever I do focus on, making sure I do it to the best of my ability and just really go deeper with that 
than I have in the past. So I'm excited, still time, still kind of debating that and thinking things through, but I uh, hope you guys are excited for 2019, getting ready. It's a, a brand new beginning, it's a new opportunity to, to get excited and use that early momentum and motivation you get to uh, really propel yourself forward to make some great changes in your life. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you taking the time to listen and watch this video today, and I look forward to serving you again soon. Take care.